we get a lot of people coming in asking, I've got this, it still works, there's nothing wrong with it, do you want it? And we have to refuse, obviously, we don't take anything off site. But I always ask them, would they not prefer to take it to a charity shop where maybe it could be sold on? One of the problems I found with that is a lot of the charity shops now won't take lateral goods if they haven't got a safety certificate or stamp on them uh -huh. or they haven't been pat tested, which is a shame because they're perfectly working order and could be recycled another way and use, useful, more useful to charity. So we've got Black Friday. Uh, people are going to be buying new tellies, new everything. What happens to all the old electric cookers? Well, most electrical goods come in at, at by size. The, the larger items get go to Gap, who is a company I take it away and recycle them for on our behalf. And the small electrical goods also go to the same company, but in a different manner. They get into the small recycle buckets there uh -huh. for likes of um, radios, turntables, lamps, lights, uh, computers, laptops are quite a favourite at the minute. We get a lot of those in. And then we've got our fridge freezers and our microwaves which go in the big container over there which is a large pink one because it's heavier goods uh -huh. and they get filled up and it takes it away in one lump therefore it's uh, saving on the fuel and the carbon print. So what's our message? Uh, recycle as much as you can and if you can go to the charity shop and ask them first it would be great but if you get no joy please bring it along and we'll dispose of it for you.